Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, this episode finds us in Sidcup, in Kent, to investigate claims that an abandoned factory on the outskirts of town is haunted. We are at the Klingers factory, a site popular with both urban explorers and local paranormal groups. Austrian engineer Richard Klinger pioneered the way forward for gasket technology with the development of the compressed fibre gasket in 1899, and with more and more orders flooding in, he decided to build and operate a manufacturing plant here in the UK. The building work finished in 1937 and included offices, a cutting shop, tool rooms and large storage areas. The site was declared a Grade 2 listed building and by the late 90s Richard Klinger Limited was sold to a French company which then went on to make all 47 workers at this site redundant. It's argued by local residents that the company closed the site due to cover-ups regarding a fatal asbestos accident within the factory and it's alleged that those workers killed still roam the corridors of the old basement. We asked for our spirit guides and guardian angels to step close to us. We asked for St Michael to walk among us and keep us protection, protection while we're actually on this vigil tonight and no harm to come to anybody. No one is allowed to touch us or enter our bodies unless we say so. Once you feel that you're completely surrounded with this white light, I want you to open your eyes, uh, but still stay quiet. Right, now we're going to start the vigil. We are actually in Clingers. We are in the basement where we believe they kept a lot of valuable stuff. We have a lot of equipment that we'll be using. We'll be using this, which is a mail meter. This will tell us when the temperature drops or spikes. This will also tell us if the energy spikes. At the moment it is reading 0.5 which is actually not too bad. If that goes to one, we know we've got a spike in energy. The ambient temperature at the moment is 47 Fahrenheit. So that can keep a really, really good eye on what's happening in the atmosphere for us. This is the K2 meter. This does not pick up electrical household electricity. The only electricity this will pick up is condensed energy. So it will pick up any kind of spike if it comes near it or close to us. We can use this to answer yes or no to questions. We can ask spirit to take it to red for a yes answer and to stay on green for a no answer. It has been very successful in the past. This is called a 308. When energy comes into the room, lights will go up. Quick demonstration. We'll show you what will happen. You get it to go up. That's what will happen. If spirit starts to come close, it will scream. Also, it will tell me which direction the energy is coming from because there's a compass actually built into this machine. Okay, so there we have our 308, we have our K2, we have our millimeters. We have recorders going along, I believe. Lynn over there has one, a recorder running, this is for EVPs and white noise, 
Dawn has one run in there, so EV plays a white noise. Next bit of equipment we will be using is called an Obvious 3. This will pick up blocks of speech in the atmosphere. What this actually does is try to translate these bits of speech into words. These words will then appear on the screen. This is programmed with nearly 3,000 words. We can put it on a QA. and a It will... Right. Right, that is just resetting itself at the moment, so take no notice of that. What was that? Okay, I think that came from right down the tunnel. Moments, take no notice of that. Moments, take no notice of that. Moments, take no notice of that. I'll start in a minute, and then I'll just do I'll be honest, that's the second time I've heard that on camera yes, now. Yes, there's quite a few times. Hopefully, the Oculus will give us some answers and may even give us some names later on. It's said it in a computer voice, but the writing's quite clear. There it is again. What was that? What was that? Okay. I heard that noise a third time. Now. That is right behind us. Yeah, that's coming from over here. I'm just going to have a look down here, see if there's anything open. Anyone there? from over here, but I can't see anything out there. Right, I thought we were alone. Okay. The parabolic ear picks up even the slightest little sound. It will pick up your breathing, it will pick up the smallest sigh, and it will be able to tell us if there's somebody even upstairs, let alone down here in the basement with us. So I suspected we are alone. CO8 has just flashed once, and we had one flash to test to happen on the K2. Right, we also have thermal imager here. So once it is actually on, right. we can see if there's any energy that's going to start floating around. So there's something else that we'll use. Right, let's start calling out and see if we can get some more bangs and something to happen. Is there any spirits here that would like to talk to us? If you would like to make a bang or a noise, if 
if you'd like to tap on something or touch one of us. You have nothing to fear. We don't mean you any harm. We come with the utmost respect for you. None of the equipment you see here can hurt you in any way whatsoever. It just picks up on your energy. Feel free to use it. Feel free to come very close. Have a look at it, touch it. We can use this to have yes and no answers from you. Now we've heard some really loud bangs. If that was any kind of spiritual energy, any kind of haunting, anybody grounded here that's making those bangs. What was that that just got thrown? I'm not sure. Did you see that? that something came across in front of the camera. Something just got thrown. I heard it hit the ground and I see it on the camera. Okay. Something just got thrown at you. Well, let's ask them to do it again. Okay. It made too much of a um, noise to be yeah. dust or anything like that. Okay, that is another thing. If you're trying to get our attention and you're throwing something, do you want to throw something again? You can throw something bigger if you want to, if you've got enough energy. You know you have nothing to fear from us. The validation, yes, you tap something. If that was you, I thank you. Is it possible for you to come very, very close to me so I can feel who you are? The bangs have stopped. Very, very strange. Right, do we have any male energies here that would like to communicate with us? You know, there's several ways in which you can do this. You may not have seen this equipment before. I don't believe many paranormal groups or if any, have ever done this place. I do know, however, there was a lot of deaths from the asbestos many, many, many years ago. And I know a lot of families are quite angry about it. I do know there was also two industrial deaths here. Perhaps you'd like to give us the rest of the puzzle because we have no idea. If you want to come forward and let us know, Millimetre is going from five to six to five to six. Nothing significant, but it is working its way up. If you come close here and here, these two things here will pick up on your energy. You don't have to come that close to set them off. But you can answer yes and no to me with them. Can you show yourself as a shadow? Did you hear that? There's some sort of something down there. Did you say that's a, a hallway down there, a corridor? Yes, yeah, a corridor. Yeah, I think there's something down the end of it. <laughs> I keep hearing like little tiny noises it from that hallway. I thought I hear it. I think it's a female down there. I'm feeling that we've got a female, a young female, but I think she may be a little bit far off. It was quite a way down. Yeah, I think she may be a little bit wary at the moment. I think it could be the first paranormal group to ever do this place. And again. Okay, darling, if that is you and you're down the corridor, could you make, give me a big bang, please? There it is. Thank you, darling. There's the bang. You're doing so. Thank ooh, you, sweetheart. Ooh, 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 ooh.
Can you make that noise again? to let me know you were in the corridor. Are you above us? If you're above us, can you let us know? Are you in the lab where the laboratory was? Are you in the mixing rooms? It was good, but it wasn't quite loud enough. Can you do it again, please? rubbish on the floor. Yeah, Am I going in the right direction? Let me know. I think we need to go down that hallway. Yeah. The team decide to scout the rest of the basement to look for further clues as to where the banging noises are originating from. We leave the rest of the team and join Andrea and Dom to help with their search. So we've just left the team behind in that main basement area and we're heading down this hallway now where we've uh, been hearing these bangs come from. These very long I think it's quite cold down here. Yeah, it's very cold. I've got a feeling that he's somewhere around here. Down there. 
for that. Yeah. Oh wow, uh, that is a mess in there. Yeah, that is. I don't think we're going to be able to. Not going to do a lot in there. Yeah, we're not going to get the right foot in there. No. A lot of this is very, very wet. Yeah. Right, sweetheart, if you're making a bang from somewhere in here, can you do it while you're in here? Can you do something that's really obvious? The bangs have been great, they're validation, but we really would like to see you on screen. If you can remember, do you know what a picture is? A photograph? Could you perhaps walk in front of us? straight into the other room. Right, okay. Right, sweetheart, if you was making your noises from here, is it possible for you to come very close to us? The device on the floor won't hurt you. It's all electrical generators, fuse boards. All the old fuse boards. Yeah. Not actually sure what they change purpose for, but nobody's bad. Not actually sure what they change purpose for, but not actually sure what they change purpose for, but nobody's bad. Yeah. I don't know where that bang keeps coming from. No, I thought it was down here, this end. This Hallway just carries on though. Yes, it does. To another set of stairs that then goes upstairs into buildings. Um, it's sort of you know, quite a bad state. It. Whereabouts is that room then? That's right back through here. 
sign that actually still on the door. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sign outside this door. If that's where she is, I know she's there. Well done. Right, I'm pretty sure she's. I'm sure she's here. This area That's where I heard it. Yeah, this is this is where I really want to be with her. But I know it's wet and damp. I'll show you where that is. Where it is. Well, if you can just keep asking that very quietly, see if you can get an unruly pain here. Yeah. yeah. yeah because. Right. I'm gonna have to take you up. So, what sort of development tests were they doing in here? I have no idea, but everything seems to have become behind steel doors. It's very hush hush. It all became very, very hush hush. What sort of experiments or tests were they running down here? Got no idea, but the time period in which it seemed to go quiet seemed to be around about the Cold War time. Then after that, the place was shut down. They started, I noticed, when I gave some recce, they started to note it, uh, put numbers on areas and exhibits. There's a place around here that's got exhibit one, exhibit two, exhibit three. It's very eerie. It's meant to have things that says exhibits. Now, this is meant to be a manufacturing plant. Why would you have a laboratory down in the cellar that's locked up and shelving with exhibit one, two, and three on it? Exactly. Makes you wonder what was going on down there. It's uh, give you quite an eerie feeling, to be honest. Very, very low yeah. ceiling as well. Yeah, look, padlocked, everything. Metal gates, padlocked. I don't think this was your normal storage cellar. I think it became a lot more than that. Hmm. But what? Yeah, but, but that does uh, that does intrigue me. Yeah. 